Weakness on the world stage has a cost, and the President's approach to foreign policy has consistently been too little, too late. And now Russia has launched an unprovoked, full-scale military invasion of Ukraine. But we shouldn't ignore what happened in the run-up to Putin's invasion, waiving sanctions on Russian pipelines while eliminating oil production here at home, focusing on political correctness rather than military readiness, reacting to world events instead of driving them. But we can't project strength abroad if we're weak at home. Americans are tired of a political class trying to remake this country into a place where an elite few tell everyone else what they can and cannot say, what they can and cannot believe. They're tired of people pretending the way to end racism is by categorizing everybody by their race. They're tired of politicians who tell parents they should sit down, be silent, and let government control their kids' education and future. Frankly, they are tired of the theater, where politicians do one thing when the cameras are rolling and another when they believe you can't see them, where governors and mayors enforce mandates but don't follow them, where elected leaders tell their citizens to stay home while they sneak off to Florida for sun and fun where they demand that your child wear a mask, but they go maskless. We now live in a country where violent crime is out of control. Liberal prosecutors are letting criminals off easy, and many prominent Democrats still want to defund the police. The Biden administration requires vaccines for Americans who want to go to work or protect this country, but not for migrants who illegally cross the border. The Department of Justice treats parents like domestic terrorists, but looters and shoplifters roam free. The American people are left to feel like they're the enemy. The president tried to paint a different picture tonight, but his actions over the last 12 months don't match the rhetoric. It's not what he promised when he took office. Republicans believe that parents matter. It was true before the pandemic, and it has never been more important to say out loud, parents matter. They have a right to know and to have a say in what their kids are being taught. Families also have every right to live in a safe and a secure community. And that begins with a safe and secure country. But the Biden administration has refused to secure our border. They've refused to provide the resources to stop human trafficking, to stop the staggering influx of deadly drugs coming into our neighborhoods. They've refused to protect you. And it shouldn't come as a surprise that out of the top 20 states with the lowest unemployment rates, 17 have Republican governors. Republicans may not have the White House, but we're doing what we can to fill the leadership vacuum. Most of all, we're respecting your freedom.